his followers that once we come into the knowledge of Islam, the knowledge of ourselves, <laughs> Introduce himself again, this time by the name of Allah. Allah Akbar. My Arabic was never very good. But the sound and feel of the words brought me closer to God. In performing Salah, the ground I touched became holy ground, and I found a feeling of serenity and brotherhood.
I'm a Muslim. I'm with 600 more million who believe the same as me, and uh, I'm just sticking to my religious beliefs in the Holy Quran. I'm Muslim Muhammad Ali, and are you as good a Muslim as you are a boxer? Well, it's not for me. You know, the word Muslim means one who submits entirely to the will of God. Mm -hmm. One who submits entirely to the will of God. That's what Muslim means. So, I, I don't know, I cannot be the judge on how much I submit entirely to the will of God. God himself can only judge us. So I can't say how good I am, and no true Muslim will brag or even will even take a chance on saying he's good or he's halfway good or not. It's up to Allah, God, to be the judge, see? So I'm not going to say one thing about uh, how good I am because I don't know. We never get good enough. I'm always striving to be right. Uh, I found out that there are 600 million Muslims on the planet. What Moses taught was right. But Isaiah, Lot, Noah, God has always sent prophets to different people at different times with messages for those people who choose to follow the Islamic path because I've never saw so much love. I never saw so many people hugging each other, kissing each other, praying five times a day. The women in the long garments, the way they would eat. You can go to any country and say, Assalamu alaikum, alaikum assalam. You got a home, you got a brother. I chose the Islamic path because it connected me as a Muslim. See, the name Muhammad is the most common name in the world. There are more Muhammads on the planet. There are four billion people on earth, and every third person is a Muslim. So for me, because I have a strong belief in God and humanity, that's why I'm having these boys. That's why God blesses me to be so great here. Because all the time I've been here, I've been talking about God, pushing God, pushing religion. I'm not talking about me, how great I am, how much money I got. I'm always giving the praise to God. So that's why I'm as great as I am in this physical world, because I push him first. Well, Muhammad, we're running... One of the most haunting and beautiful sounds in the world is the Muslim call to prayer. Yeah, so you have been traveling a lot, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and this movie takes place in Istanbul. Istanbul, and, Turkey. And how yeah. was that? It was uh, beautiful. It's, it's a stunning city. It mm -hmm. used to be in the old days known as Constantinople. It's the gateway between the West and the East. Right. It's rich culturally, historically, and there are 4,000 mosques. And the call to prayer starts at 5 a.m. every morning. So when you have your alarm clock set for 6 a.m., it's uh, the first week it was a bit annoying. Do you get used to it? But by the second week, Alan, it just gets into your soul. It yeah. became the most magnificent wake up. Call. Oh,
See your whole world fall apart And you try to go on But it seems so hard Allah knows Allah knows You see we all have a path to choose Through the valleys and hills we go With the ups and the downs Never fret, never frown Allah knows Allah 